Okay, thank you. Uh, I agree with a lot of things that, that you've said and you talked about foreign policy. One of the problems that I see is the fact that Congress doesn't listen to us. They seem to, once they get elected, they're off doing their own thing. If they have this shutdown, everybody pays but them. They still collect their checks, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, people fly around in very expensive airplanes with the top of the line food on our tax dollars. Is there anything as a president you can do to get this corrected? Years ago, a friend of mine said, if we don't like it, we'll line them up and ship one out someplace else, and then they'll start listening to us. They don't listen, and even though you're a president, and I assume you will be, what can you do to correct it? You know, it's, it's limited practically, but powerful kind of rhetorically. So let me tell you exactly what I mean. I can't force Congress to put term limits on themselves, but you can. And if a president gets behind that and the states start to move to amend the Constitution to have term limits, I think you'll get a reaction to that. So can I go and wave a magic wand to Washington and get them to put term limits in place? No, but we can start a movement in our country that gets it done. Um, and if a president gets behind it, it becomes a lot more powerful. 